strange feeling is back. It's just like the day I went missing. It's as if something inside me is trying to guide me somewhere. The mother load's influence is growing stronger. But is it because we're getting closer to the source? Or because the leakage of Chu blood is growing more severe? Jia Liang, can you sense which direction the source is in? I think it's this way. I'm sure of it. I feel a dull ache in my heart. This must be the way. This place feels familiar. I think I've been here before. Hmm. There is an inauspicious presence here. Even I can sense it. I think I remember this place. <sighs> Keep going. Jiang Li is still waiting for me. <sighs> then let's hurry. Keep your eyes wide open. Don't disappoint me. The hunt begins! Just what will we come across this time? Uh, this place gives Paimon the creeps. 
Who knows what we're gonna find up ahead? The digging marks here appear amateur... ...and rather old. I suspect it is a thieves' tunnel. A thieves' tunnel? Hmm... Paimon has heard rumors about treasure around these parts before. Maybe it was the treasure hoarders that dug this tunnel. Judging by the tools they left behind, it's certainly a possibility. But why did they abandon this place without even stopping to pack up their tools? Ah, <sighs> I remember now. She took me here once and told me that she'd found a way to save me in this cave. But she... <sighs> She said that the method would cause me to, uh, 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 curses. Why can't I remember what she said? Uh. Easy, Jia Liang. Come on, let's keep going. I believe this sensor was used to burn a monster repelling incense. A monster repelling incense? Are uh, you sure? Because we did run into that group of monsters just now. The incense was burned several days ago. If I had to guess, the monsters we fought just now were enticed here by some entity deeper inside the cave. No doubt an encounter with the very same entity was what prompted the treasure hoarders to flee and abandon their designs on this cave. After them, Jiang Li was the next person to discover this place and what lies inside. But to her, it presented an opportunity to save Jia Liang's life, albeit as a last resort. That's right. This sensor, it belongs to Jiang Li. Yes, this was the place. This is where I told Jiang Li to give me the poison. <coughs> Jiao Liang! I'm fine. Let's keep going. I can feel it. She, she, she is right below us. Waiting for me. We're getting close. We're almost there. It's right up ahead. The place where we made a pact together to... Aha! We can keep going now! From the looks of it, the energy released by this mechanism can not only clear barriers, but also be conducted by corresponding mechanisms. Perhaps it's something we can make use of.
mind the side effects. The doctor will see you. Can't handle your dream. It's not me. Scatter! Let's go, let's go. Seems like an emergency. Propagate! Terminate! Don't waste my time. Submit! My royal decree! Midnight Phantasmagoria! Shake it and stir! Look at you, Foo Town! Your life is mine! Remember, health comes first, mind the side effects. Look out! Uh, there's a monster next to her! The god remains must have lured them here. Watch my back. For the better. They are special. So. Come. Wings of darkness. Come. Never night from day. It's nothing.
Dr. Baiju! How serious is it? Is she... I can still feel a pulse, but her condition is quite grave. The god remains here are encroaching on her cognition, much as the poison in your system did to you. If we don't eliminate it soon, then even if we save her life, I fear that she may never wake up again. Then, what are we waiting for? Let's destroy the remains right away! It's not as simple as that. Don't you remember what Baiju said? The poison within Jialyang's body is inextricably linked to the god remains here. If the source is purged, the poison in his system will stop having any effect. Uh, and the poison within Jialyang's body is keeping his heart condition under control. So, if it stops working... Oh no. Are you saying... Indeed. If the god remains here are purged, then your life will come to an end. <sighs> I wondered when this day might come. Wait, wait, wait! But we've all been working our butts off to save Jia Liang's life! After all that, we can't just give up on him? Baiju, you're a great doctor! Surely you gotta know of some other way we can save him, right? You could continue to take the poison, which would buy you some time. As for Jiang Li, maybe if we put our heads together, we can think of something? It appears to me that she was striving to concoct your medicine for you, right up until the moment when she lost consciousness. Maybe it's her greatest wish that you will continue to take it and live. Dr. Baiju, give it to me straight. How long does Jiang Li have? The god remains have reached her internal organs. Under ordinary circumstances, I would give her less than three days. But, if I were to treat her using a secret art... But, but what would be the point of that? Dr. Baiju, I'm all too aware of the dangers of god remains. You were not the first to mention it to me. If I continue to sustain my own life using this wretched substance, not only would Jiang Li have to keep risking her life to make my medicine for me, oh, but I would have to live with the looming threat of these remains breaking out and wreaking havoc not just upon me, but my entire family. I know for a fact that I should have died over a decade ago. The fact that I've been around to see how you grow up is already a great blessing from Rex Lapis. If my choice can bring Jiang Li back, then even if I, uh, uh, even if I die... Jia Liang? <laughs> After cheating death for so long, it seems I've grown somewhat addicted to life. <sighs> Traveler, Dr. Baiju, could I have another minute with my wife? I just want to have one final moment together. Just a moment, that's all. Of course. Thank you, everyone. And I'm sorry that I won't be able to repay your kindness in this life. <laughs> Jia Liang? Baiju Changsheng? Is there really nothing else you can do? I am sure that over the years, Jiang Li will have tried all the conventional methods known to humankind. As for less conventional methods, I have little expertise besides Chang Sheng's secret art. Mortals are fated to grow old and pass on when their natural lifespan runs out. If it were so easy to combat the natural processes of aging and death, Jiang Li would not have had to resort to unnatural methods. What a crazy situation! Jiang Li risked it all to save Jia Liang's life, and now Jia Liang has to sacrifice himself to save Jiang Li! What's the point of it all? I've seen many final farewells in my time, but I can never get used to it. In the human realm, all things must come to an end. 
Is it not a fitting end to die for a worthy cause? At least, that's what generations of masters before you have always believed. The path they chose was indeed a heroic one. But when I think of those who would willingly sacrifice themselves for others, I cannot help but think that theirs are the lives least deserving of death. When all this began, we agreed that once Ayu was old enough to help you gather herbs, it would be time for me to go. <laughs> if you could only see him now. He took me all the way to Liyue Harbor to see the doctor. And he even got the adventurer's guild to search for you. <laughs> so I know that you'll both be okay without me. <clears throat> I've said my goodbyes. My time has come. Do what you must. As you wish. away at both your cognition and your memories. In the end, you'll become little more than a shadow of your true self. I'll take it. At the very least, it will allow me to stay with you and watch Ayu grow up. <laughs> gather some medicinal herbs right away. I promise you, nothing will happen to our family. <clears throat> Why would these memories come to mind now? <sighs> the longer we live, <clears throat> the tighter we cling to what we have. Love to hear, to hear your voice one last time. Jaliang, <sighs> Jaliang, Jaliang, Jaliang. Dad, are you awake? Uh, Jiang Li, are you? Didn't I... Huh? What are these? How does it feel to come back to life? Do you feel strange or different in any way? If so, could you describe it to me in detail? Dr. Baishu, I... I thought that I was going to... <laughs> Die? You did indeed. As things stand now, you're more akin to a zombie than a human. I'm a zombie? That's right. Before we set off, I asked Chi-Chi to prepare an elixir of immortality. With its help, you have been suspended in the space between life and death. Of course, this is but a crude imitation of an adeptus art. I don't expect it to extend your life indefinitely. Whether it will keep you alive for a few days, a few months, or a few years, I am as interested as you to find out. But, however long you have left, I believe it should be more than sufficient time for you to say your final goodbyes before departing the world in peace. I hope that Director Hu finds this arrangement to be a satisfactory one. An elixir of immortality? How'd you cook that up? Ugh. Leave it to you to work on something like that behind my back. It's a work in progress that hardly lives up to its name, and it would have had no effect were it not for Jia Liang's iron will. In the end, I am merely a doctor. I understand very little of the great principles governing life and death and the perpetual cycle of yin and yang. 
All I know is that if I'm presented with a life that deserves to be saved, I will do everything in my power to save them. And even this would have counted for nothing without Director Hu's assistance. After all, did you not tell Jia Liang to show us the way before we set off for Qingsa Village? Oops. And I'm busted. Without Director Hu nudging things in the right direction, we may not have found Jiang Li in time. No wonder he didn't mention the elixir back then. I thought he was being frank and transparent with me for once, but apparently not. <clears throat> Director Hu told me to keep her suggestion a secret. But it seems nothing escapes Dr. Baiju's attention. <laughs> Never underestimate a serpent's sense of smell. <sighs> All I wanted was to help Jia Liang find his missing wife as soon as possible, so that he could be on his way to the afterlife without any unfulfilled wishes making the journey more difficult than it needs to be. Leave it to Boo Boo Pharmacy to snatch the perfect opportunity right out of my hands at the last hurdle. Never mind. I'll just have to put it down in the books as a deferred consideration. <sighs> one Chi Chi was enough of a conundrum. The last thing I need is another one. If I'd known this was coming, I'd have whisked him off to the Wang Sheng funeral parlor the moment I found him. You stay away from my dad! When I grow up, I'm gonna become an even better doctor than Mom and Baiju, and cure Dad for good! <sighs> <sighs> Oh, is that right? Well, you wouldn't be the first person who's tried to put Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor out of business. If you're serious about it, you'll have your work cut out for you. Traveler, Paimon, I'll catch you all another time. Oh, is she finally gone? All's well that ends well. If you ask Paimon, we should probably do something to celebrate this hard-earned family reunion! <laughs> At times like this, a grand celebratory feast is in order! <laughs> it feels like it was a whole lifetime ago when I last talked with Li and Ayu around the dinner table. Baiju, thank you so, so much for everything you've done for us. Don't mention it, Jiangli. I was just doing my duty. Just your duty, huh? <sighs> Baiju, Changsheng, would you mind if we took this conversation outside? Time flies. It's been so long since we bade each other farewell in Chen Yu Vale. Changsheng, you're the same as ever. You haven't changed one bit. You, on the other hand, have changed a lot. You're right. My younger self would have never imagined that things would one day turn out this way. Or that you'd turn out this way, Baijiu. I've taken a look at your elixir of immortality. It's not altogether dissimilar from the poison I concocted in terms of the way it functions. I have to say, Jiangli, it was a stroke of genius to use poison to maintain life. I hope you're not too upset at me for copying your methods. No, not at all. With your intellect, even if you'd never seen my poison, I believe you would have eventually arrived at the same approach. But 
I'm still impressed by how quickly you managed to gain such a thorough understanding of it. Jia Liang's still only been in your care for a few days. Not just that, you even managed to improve upon the original formula. That cannot be explained by intellect alone. Baiju, be honest with me. Did you try out some of the poison on yourself? Huh. Told you the truth would surface sooner or later. Life Force isn't the only thing that Changsheng's contract lets you transfer between bodies, is it? Nothing gets past you, Jiang Li. You are correct. Besides Life Force, Changsheng's secret art also allows for the transfer of toxins and diseases. When I treated Jia Liang for the second time, I transferred some of the poison from his body into my own. Not only did this allow me to alleviate the burden on him, but it also gave me an opportunity to study its properties. There is no need to worry about any long-term consequences to my health, however. Now that the source has been destroyed, any remaining poison in me will have already dissipated. But you took such a huge risk. If we hadn't destroyed the gods' remains back there, then even you might have... <sighs> what am I saying? I'm in no position to criticize you for this. The reason I left our master and went into hiding all those years ago was that he was getting old. And I didn't want him using up any more of his own life force to treat my husband. But in the end, how were my methods any different? I risked one life to save another. And then you tried the poison on yourself too. <sighs> it looks like both of us have ended up going the same way as our master before us. Are all disciples of Chen Yu Vale destined to turn out this way? To live a short life, haven't given away our own for the sake of others? To fight relentlessly against the natural course of life and death, whatever the cost? <sighs> Maybe our fate is sealed the moment we decide to study medicine. We are doctors, Jiang Li. We ought never say that anyone's fate is sealed. Baiju, I can tell that... Over the years, you've used the contract with Changsheng to transfer many diseases and toxins to yourself. There are so many that some of them I don't even recognize. Can you still stop before it's too late? I think you know the answer, Jiang Li. Every one of us from Chen Yu Vale believes in the same thing. Join us! The Traveler taught me a load of new recipes, and said even Dad'll be able to taste them. Come and try them out! Yes, darling. Mom will be there in just a second. Hey, slow down! Baiju, I know I won't be able to convince you, but please don't forget that if one day you're not around anymore. Chi-Chi, Gui, and all the friends who have grown fond of you they will all miss you dearly. There's no need to worry, Jiang Li. I know what I'm doing. <sighs> I can only hope so. Hmm. By you, what did Jiang Li mean by not around anymore? Are you gonna be okay? Every single mortal I've ever contracted with, including Baiju and Zhang Li's master, has passed away at a young age. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. You said that the contract with you helps people live longer. <sighs> it is a very long story. Long ago, when plagues ravaged the land, one doctor made a pledge to rid the world of pain and suffering. But even the most ingenious mortal medicine could not stay the tide of disease. And after working tirelessly for many years, even his dearest loved ones fell sick 
and bade their final farewell. Legends told of an herb lord in Chen Yu Vale who could cure any illness known to mankind. The doctor sought the herb lord, but found only a white snake, its breathing weak and its power all but spent. Sign this contract and let our lives be joined. Then I will impart to you the secret art of healing. But be warned, this art will harm your own health. With means beyond human ken, the doctor could now reverse the process of death. And yet, the time still came to say goodbye. Only now, the one departing was the doctor, his life force spent. His final act in life was to pass on the contract to his final patient, his favorite disciple. The disciple chose to dedicate their life to saving the lives of others. And generation upon generation followed in these footsteps. <coughs> Since I inherited this contract, I've always respected the path taken by my predecessors, and followed it myself unquestioningly. That is, until I tried to use the art to save my own disciples, beloved. She begged me not to use up my own life force. She said that this art is a poison chalice, an evil and unnatural practice. She did not wish to sacrifice one life for the sake of another, when both were lives she treasured. Only then did it occur to me. Did I not suffer when my master passed away, just as patients' families do at their loved one's deathbed? Are not the lives cut short by this contract just as worthy of saving as any patients? What is this contract to us? Medicine or poison? Alas, I no longer have enough time left to find the answer. I entrust to your care both Chang Sheng and this final question. May you find a remedy for this conundrum which has ailed us so. Time and again, no matter how much I try to warn them, or balance their chi, I can never save them. And you? What's your answer? If I abandoned the contract and left you without a host, what would happen? Hmm... I suppose I'd spend my final moments taking a nice nap on Mount Yaojin. Then I'd be reunited with my old friends, and your predecessors. Then it's decided. If there's a life in front of me that deserves to be saved, why shouldn't I do everything within my power to save it? <sighs> Once again, it's the same answer. So be it. Close your eyes. Who knows how many more people will take on this contract? None. This contract will end with me. My contract has strict requirements on the host's natural temperament. All my hosts have been most pure of heart. But when one with an altruistic nature gains access to this art, they are more seduced than the average person by the miracle of overturning the laws of life and death. Though they know better than anyone else the fate that awaits them, when faced with the sorrows of humanity and the pain of losing their nearest and dearest, they cannot help but reach beyond human means. They are like moths that throw themselves into the flame, seeking a glimmer of hope in a dark world filled with pain and suffering. So, Baihu, does that mean... <laughs> I suppose that would make me a moth that yearns for the light, but doesn't want to be burned to a crisp. Cheng Sheng's art can transfer pain and suffering between people, but it cannot reduce the total amount of pain in the world. It's just like we witnessed. 
Either Jia Liang feared for Jiang Li's life, or Jiang Li grieved over Jia Liang's sacrifice. I have nothing but the utmost respect for my predecessors, who sacrificed their lives for their principles. But I do not wish to join their ranks, nor do I wish to pass on this contract to anyone else in the future. Huh? But didn't you already transfer a ton of diseases onto yourself? What makes a poison, poison? And what makes a disease, a disease? When it comes down to it, are not both mechanisms that affect the operations of the human body? If disease is defined as deviation from normal functioning, then who knows? Perhaps the true elixir of immortality could in fact be a kind of poison. Many may view the notion of searching for immortality in poisons and illnesses as a flagrant violation of the natural order. But to me, it is no different from the way our ancestors tested the medicinal qualities of herbs by sampling each and every one. I don't want those who come after me to lose their lives to this contract. Nor do I wish for Cheng Sheng to perish from losing her host. This leaves only one solution, doesn't it? Precisely. I will be Cheng Sheng's final host and the tradition of passing down the contract will end with me. Even the gods of old struggle to achieve true immortality. First you want to save others, then you want to save yourself. Now you even want to save me. You're getting greedy, Baiju. Hmm... But isn't wanting to have it all what makes us human? For a selfish moth like me, who's afraid of the flame yet yearns for the light. The only path forward is up towards the moon. Huh. For once, Paimon just does not know what to say. Dr. Baiju, Traveler, what are you still chatting about? The food's about to get cold. We also have coconut milk for Changsheng and Paimon. Um... Okay, fine. Let's go grab some food. Paimon has a bunch of burning questions, but they can wait till after we've eaten. <sighs> I do envy Paimon sometimes. Eating her fail is enough to satisfy her body and mind. <laughs> True. And yet, although we call them simple pleasures, are such things as these not precisely why we mortals cling desperately to the life we have? This is how it must be. What are my orders? <gasps> Shh. 
shadows of fate. Access denied. All hail. Look at you, Funzel. Delve into destiny. Fate is upon you. Midnight Phantasmagoria. No touching. Blaze over. Decided by destiny. Can't handle your dream, huh? Shake it, master. Shadows of fate. By royal decree, born of ice and frost. Think you can bully me? Wings of darkness, come, sever the... <laughs> this is long overdue. We're way behind schedule. Stay on our special! Written in the stars. on the agenda. Next on the agenda. We're way behind schedule.
Astrologers must rid themselves of material desires. Only by ridding oneself of clutter can one see the true world around them. Thank you. 
Divination is about precisely foretelling one's written destiny. Over-embellishing that fate only leads to misconception. What's our objective? You... you want me on your team? Fräulein. I summon thee! Verdict is...
Phantasmagoria!
It is as the stars foretold. <laughs> Leave it to me.
rain outlines your fate. Let me weave you a verse. Don't get frostbite. Freeze. Tora, bring refuge. Shiver. Hold the line. Let's move out. Oh, I'm so sorry. Rain cutter. Lights out. Billowing surge!
lights out. Judgment! I'm going in! Take cover! Submit for judgment!